Um, I was about four when I started singing. Um, I've always just liked to sing. You know, I always liked music. I'm a church girl. My dad's a pastor. And so I always grew up around music. I used to play the tambourine. Really good. Now I can't remember how to do it. But um, I just grew up singing in, in a house full of music. You know, my dad used to sing in the basement to tracks. That was it. <laughs> I had did a um a gig with Kate, um, one of the um the background singers, and um they invited me on, and um and that's how I um got involved. Jazz. I believe it's entitled "Heal the World." I like to um study different artists. Um, who have a similar style. I like older music. I'm kind of an old soul, so I like like stuff from like the seventies, and um, I like I like swing music and like Frank Sinatra. Like I just I like a lot of different styles, so I just kind of study different things. And I'm, and I like gospel, so I sing a lot of gospel as well. So I study different artists who have similar tone quality as me, and I just try to see if I can find ways to intertwine some of the things that they do with what I do. Maybe Ella Fitzgerald, because she was ahead of her time. There was nobody out there doing what she did, the way she did it. And I, and I would like to ask her wh who she studied and what gave her her inspiration to, and, and, and what influenced her style of singing. Because she, she was just unique. Just unique. The only advice I can give is just have a plan B, um, another job, and just, you know, pursue your dream and don't let anybody deter you from it. But don't just be out here starving talking about I'm trying to make a CD. No. <laughs> be wise.